When dealing with our daily emotions that we all face, there can be positive outcomes we control. Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Absolutely, unequivocally, yes, is the answer. Now, here is the host of The Long Bearded Guy, the Chief Catalyst, Strategist Guide at Jewel International, Gordon D. Melville. Hey, everybody. Thank you for coming in today. I am so excited that you're here. I'm so excited to be here. You're with Gordon D. Melville, the long bearded guy. I don't know where that comes from on Inspired Choices Network. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for spending some time. If you're in, let me know. Welcome. And, and you know what? Thank you so much for spending some of your limited resource called time with me today. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to have information. We're going to have. Um, we're going to answer some questions that I had put out earlier, right? So, um, what do a two by four and a rhino have to do with my mission, and how does that work, and what does that mean? And we're going to talk about those things, and we're going to explore that stuff, and we're going to be raw, and we're going to be real, and we're going to be transparent. We're going to be vulnerable. I'll be vulnerable with you. I'm hoping that you will be vulnerable and transparent with me. So wherever you're from today, please, please let me know that you're here and let me know where you're from so I know where, where people are, are tuning in from today. So thank you so, so much. Uh, I want to say welcome. The, the other piece is uh, just to give you a little bit of uh, background about who you're listening to and, and why uh, this is such a huge deal for me and why this is such a big thing. This is a culmination. This, this actually happening today is a culmination of a dream and a mission and a definite major purpose that are all coming together today and, and with the help of a whole community of people. And, and I, I want to say thank you uh, to, to some of those people today uh, because it's, it's, I can't do this on my own and, and I need a team of people. So there's a bunch of people, I, I can't name everybody, but I want to touch base real quick. I want to say hi and thank you so much. Massive, massive gratitude. To, to, to Jose and Jeff and Austin and Jim and Dr. Oliver and Lee and Ed and Kat and Mrs. Kirkpatrick and Carolyn and a huge gratitude to Christine and uh, my, my producer, Kim, and uh, me, uh, sorry, Mishpa, uh, Mishpa. And, and I would be remiss not to acknowledge my studio uh, pit crew of my wife, Janessa and, and Isaac. So, Thank you so much to all of them, and we'll we'll you'll you'll find out who they are as we go along, and and what they what they're doing, and, and why they're involved, or how they're involved. And I so a little bit about me, just real quick. I wanna I wanna do um, just a little bit of thanks for 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 chatting in there, Austin. I appreciate it. Um, so so a little bit about me, uh, so you know who you're listening to. Um, the the background skinny Cole's notes uh, on me is that uh, I was Energizer Bunny for 30 years. Uh, I was a go, 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 go type guy. Um, I was at work at five o'clock, six o'clock in the morning and still there at, at uh, you know, midnight, one o'clock in the morning, 10 days a week, if you can, if you can relate to that. And so uh, there's, there's so many bits and pieces. And I was taught at a, at a young age that um, looking after yourself first was was selfish, and that set that paradigm in me. So I was at, looking after everybody else. I wasn't doing uh, any self care of my own. I was teaching it, but I wasn't doing anything. If if people can can relate to that, and so in late 2015, my body said, "Hey, you know what? I'm out. Uh, I, I can't do this anymore." And so I was bedridden for a better part of two years. And in the middle of all that, when you take an Energizer Bunny, hey Jeff, how you doing? Great to see you. Thank you for joining in. Um, but but I, I, it, when it gets dark, right, it gets dark really quick when you take an Energizer bunny and force them into a space where uh, they can't move. And so there was a suicide attempt in the middle of that. And I look back at that now and say, you know what, Papa gifted that to me uh, because I needed that perspective. And I call God Papa because of my relationship with him. But, but he gifted me that perspective on depression and suicide and, and mental awareness. I, I talk about mental awareness instead of, um, uh, instead of mental health or mental illness. Those things are underneath the, the umbrella. But I think there's a lot of, of uh, other topics 
that are underneath that umbrella. And so we want to talk about some of those things. We want to, we want to, we want to air that out uh, and, and make sure that we're talking about those things, because I think that the, by not talking about it, we hold it all inside. It makes us sick, right? We hold that dis ease in our body. And so that, that, that experience for me was a catalyst to, to, to bring me to a place where, where I was uh, to give me the awareness and, and start and light that fuse to get to where we are today, right? To get to where, to this, this program where we're going out on more than 250 platforms and realizing that dream of getting the message out. And, and that's where my heart is. And so you'll find out what my mission is. It's part of my, part of the, 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 program today and part of things that we'll talk about through today so you'll understand why that's such a, a near and dear thing to my heart and so then the other the other timeline for me is that over those same 30 years um, I was blessed early on to be connected to people like Grant Cardone and work with him directly and 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 bump into Zig and and you know have uh, in, impact from those people and so uh, he had told me at the time uh, that I needed only a few things to be successful in my life. And one of those things was to go to uh, um, some, um, hey, Jess, thank you for coming in. Um, one of those things was going to business conferences a couple of year, right? One of those things was to read four to six books a month. And one of those things was to journal every day. And so Consequently, I've been doing that for 30 years. Uh, and so being able to give back, I'm certified uh, uh, Robbins Madonna as a, as a coach in a half a dozen different disciplines, and I can teach Napoleon Hill. So there's a bunch of different things that have come together that, that put together my, my coaching practice. And so this is going to be an expansion because I got sick. It's kind of slowed that down. And so I'm relaunching my, my practice. I'm relaunching my high performance space. And so I want to, I want to do that in here and I want you all to come along. So um, the, the, the piece in here, I want to talk just real quick. Uh, the topic is a two by four rhinos and, and my mission. So we want to we want to see how those things co combined, right? So a two by four method, how many, where are my two by four method learners? What does that mean? Uh, who, who are the people that, you know, the universe and Papa will give us a little bit of a, a suggestion. And then if we don't listen to that, then we get a nudge. And if that doesn't work, we get a shove. And then eventually we get a two by four. And that's my, the way I've always been a learning type person is, is to get my attention. A lot of times you can't, yeah, you, you can't just use, uh, you know, nuance. Sometimes you, you, you have to get my attention. Um, Christine has, has experienced that, uh, just recently, actually, uh, trying to get my attention, Gord, pay attention. So, so, but learning as a two by four, it causes some challenges because there's benefits and, and there are some, some drawbacks to, to learning that way. And I think over the years, uh, the white in, in my beard and the white in my hair, uh, has given me some, uh, uh, some level of maturity and some level of wisdom that I learned quicker than I used to. So um, I pay attention more than I used to. And so some of those things in terms of learning that that benefit that growth that comes from living that way, right, having a space where it needs a real huge push, right, to, to get me into there. And so that's not something that that uh, you want to do. Um, I would I would recommend not to do it that way. If you're if you're a young person, if you're no matter how old you are, and and again, um, you'll find with me uh, no judgment, no expectation, and the presentation doesn't matter. So what I mean by that is, I I, I don't care uh, in terms of how you present, right? Gender doesn't matter. Race doesn't matter. Um, um, homeless, not homeless, like, like peers, Tad, and all like all the things that some people will judge. No judgment here, none whatsoever. Um, you're human. I'm human, and so some of that comes from from learning in a two by four world, right? Like really paying attention and really understanding that that I need to be able to learn and grow and be open to that. I need to be able to, to sacrifice who I am today to become who I'm supposed to be tomorrow. And, and that's intentional growth. John Maxwell talks about intentional growth. Organically, we can grow, right? And organically without a two by four with those nudges and, and we can just ignore even the two by four, 
right? It knocks us down and we go, well, you know what? I'm just going to, I'm just going to deal with it anyway. I'm going to figure it out on my own. We can do that, but it's a really tough way to live. So learning how to, how to listen for that, even for the suggestion at the beginning would make things way easier, right? So, so I, I, I want to, I want to sort of put that out there that, that learning the easiest way, but we have to be open to that. We have to be willing to stop and, and rest. Something my, my brother Austin's teaching us is, is being able to stop in the moment and, and, and relax and, and, you know, be present in the moment, right? It's a gift to be here right this minute, right now, right? There's no, there's nothing else. We all had stuff going on before we showed up today. We all have stuff going on after we get off today, but right here, right now, is the only time that we have, right? We're not promised tomorrow. So you hear people say, yesterday is a, is a canceled check. Tomorrow is a promissory note. Right this second is the only cash we have. So spend it wisely, right? And I, I'm learning those types of things and to stop and be still. And, and I tend to talk fast. So I apologize for that. I'm trying to hold on to my excitement and, and that adrenaline that's pumping because I'm so, so, so excited to be here and, and uh, to be in this space. So I'm, I'm trying to hold on to some of that, hold that intensity and hold that exuberance because I, I want to talk 300 miles an hour. And if I do, um, so I'm going to leave some people behind because I just, I'm talking so fast. So, but being present in the moment, giving myself the gift of being right here, right now, right? We think of it in terms of, I, I had somebody, uh, a lady not that long ago ask me about, she wasn't sure that was right, right? That, that, that there's so much distraction around that we are not able to be present. And I said, you got married? And she said, yes. And I said, great. Do you remember the, your wedding day? And she goes, she started to laugh. She goes, no, I don't remember the day. I had to watch it on the video. I said, yeah, me too. Right. I'm watching the video going, wow, I don't remember that happening. Did I really do that? Uh, was that person really there? I, I don't remember that. Why is that on such a monumental day? It's because we're thinking about all the things that have happened up to that point, all the preparation and all the stuff with the bridesmaids and the cake and the, the uh, getting the seating right and whatnot. That's all in the past. Right. But we're thinking about all that stuff. And then going forward, right, we're thinking about, oh, is everyone going to get their seat? You know, is my mother-in-law not going to, she's going to be where she needs to be? Or are, are all my guests going to get what they need in the, in the moment? And so, you know what, uh, we, we're, we, we stop ourselves from being able to be present. So we want to take some deep breaths, okay? Uh, I, I want to I do a quick uh, 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 a shout out to Jose Escobar. He's the founder and CEO of the Entrepreneur's Bookshelf. Check him out. Uh, to learn some more about morning and evening routine mastery program that's changing people's lives. It's an incredible program. This program will help you install systems on the bookends of your day to maximize your morning and evening routine. Set up your free strategy session with Jose Escobar today. So you want, you want to reach out to Jose, incredible human being. You also want to reach out to Kat, uh, Kathleen Schwartz. Kat is really looking forward to the release of her new podcast called Trauma Redefined with Kat and Joe. These uh, two heart-centric folks are friends who shared an experience of being complex trauma survivors who will provide a fresh take on how to tackle some of society's most difficult challenges in the mental health space like suicide prevention, bullying, and so much more. It'll be on the air on the Mental Health News Network in the fall of 2022. Watch out for her. So I, I want to put those out there. I want to make sure that, that we're talking. I want to be, be able to honor them. And, and as, we, as, we, uh, as we go into our piece here, um, we, we're going to talk about lots of things today. We're going to, I hope you're, you hope you're with me. I hope you're, you're, uh, can give me some grace. I'm trying to give myself some grace in terms of being new at this. So, you know, uh, thank you so much for, for being with me this, this, I guess it's this afternoon now. Thank you for being with me. I really, really, really appreciate it. And thank you so, so much. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm here to serve, uh, I'm here to be of service, and we're here to be of, uh, of help and benefit to as many people as we can, and, and we want it to go out. So please share it, like it, uh, the, 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 uh, the thing today, invite as many people as you can, and we'll look forward to uh, seeing you in the next segment, 
we're going to, we've been talking about two by four. Uh, we want to talk about rhinos and what does that mean and where does that come from and why, how is that, how does that make any kind of an impact on what we're talking about today in terms of my mission, right? Well, I'll, I'll stay tuned. I'll, I'll let you know. Uh, we will talk about that. So please, please, please uh, stay with us, stick with us. And as we go into this next section, um, I want to do some, some breathing into some pause for a second and just hold that in inside yourself. I do an, a quick exercise. I inhale for two through my nose. I hold it for eight to 10 beats. And then I exhale as hard as I can for four or five beats. And then I inhale just for two beats and I hold it inside myself. All right. I hold it inside myself. So that's where we're at. Thank you so much. We will look forward to seeing you on the other side of the break. Thank you. Stick with us. Thank you so much. How much of our daily success relies on our mindset? Anything we are unaware of can still impact our lives. When dealing with our daily emotions that we all face, there can be positive outcomes we control. Why is the word stigma such a BS misnomer? Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Join the long-bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville. The Chief Catalyst Strategist Guide at Jewel International invites you to an enlightening, sometimes shocking discussion. He will be challenging you to explore your own answers to these questions and so many more. This will lead you towards living an abundant, successful life no matter how you define it. Gordon D. Melville is live Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Hey, welcome back, everyone. <laughs> Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspire Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspire Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspirechoicesnetwork.com. This is the Long Bearded Guy with Gordon D. Melville. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to the long bearded guy at gmail.com. Now back to the program. Hey, welcome back, everyone. I'm Gordon D. Melville on the long bearded guy. Today, our show topic is, uh, or sorry, carried by Inspired Choices Network. And the, today, the, the topics are the topic is a two by four rhinos and my mission. And thank you so much for being here. Thank you for coming back and, and hanging with me. I really appreciate that. So we want to talk a little bit about um, rhinos. And I don't know how much you know about rhinos. I didn't know a lot about rhinoceros until I started to look into that a little bit. And, and as a piece of how I live my life and how I have lived my life, the awareness of uh, understanding that part of my life that I, uh, that the, the two by four is absolutely, we were talking about two by four and getting people's attention. And, and sometimes when life does that to us, sometimes we all learn that way. Right. So the other part of that for me is the rhinoceros. So, um, if, if you know anything about rhinos, rhinos have very thick skin, like three inches thick skin and the big horn on their, on their forehead. Right. So the, the thing on rhinos is that they can run about 40 miles an hour, which is pretty fast for a two ton animal, right? That's a, that's a, that's a big animal to be running that fast. And so uh, when they, when they run that quick and they're pushing that hard, Hey, uh, the, the pushing that hard, what happens is they just start slamming into stuff, right? Because they can't stop. So what do they call? Uh, thanks for joining us, uh, Brian. Appreciate seeing you today. Uh, what do they call? So gaggle of geese, murder of crows, herd of cows, that kind of thing. What do they call a group, a group of rhinoceros? They're called a crash. <laughs> and for that reason, because they're moving so quick 
right? They're moving fast for, for a, a, a animal that big, but they can't stop. So their inertia just drives them into air. That's why they're protected with big, thick skin and a horn so that, they're, they, that it doesn't hit them, right? So, but, but I've lived my whole life that way, right? 300 miles an hour, my hair on fire, just slamming into stuff over and over, brute force, just sort of getting in, right? Making sure that I was getting it done. And, and sheer volume and, like I say, brute force, right? In the car business, I was in, in the uh, retail automotive space for a long time, more than two decades. And, and what, I would, what I found was if 100 calls didn't do it, no problem, I'll make 500 calls. And if that doesn't do it, I'll make 1,000. It's just brute force. Is there technique in there? For sure there is. Uh, but, but, but that brute force just gut it out, right? I can step through it. It doesn't matter. It's not hurting me. You know, as young people, uh, a lot of times we, we hold on to stuff and we go, you know what, I can, I, can, I can do whatever, right? It's not hurting me. And the challenge with that is it is hurting you. You just don't feel it yet. And as you get older, again, the, the, gray, the gray and the beard and, and the, the wisdom that comes with that is that, you know what, it was hurting me. And I tell, I've got three teenage sons and I tell them all the time, you know what? It's okay to run 300 miles an hour with your hand fire. There's nothing wrong with that. All the people I look up to and emulate, Grant runs 300 miles an hour. Tony Robbins looks, they all do. Uh, um, literally, they all run hard, right? Branston, they, they all run hard, but they do self-care, right? And so the idea of that is that um, run as hard as you want, but, but make sure you're doing looking after you. And at the moment, I'm a walking, talking billboard for what happens when you do not look after yourself, when you don't do self-care. And some things are universal, right? Getting the right amount of sleep and, and meditating and, and reading and our health in terms of exercise and the food we eat and eating cleaner and whatnot will give us a better life. But having that time um, and looking after yourself first. So sort of the principle that says, you put your own mask on first, right? You get on an airplane, they'll say to you, you know, put, put your own mask on first, because if you try and help the people around you and you pass out, you're no good to them, which is literally what happened to me, right? I was always selfish to look after me first, right? Now I flip that over. It's selfish not to look after yourself first and not instead of looking after anybody else. It's not take time away from my kids or my wife or my, my clients or my work or what. It's not take time away from, it's make more time. And how do you do that? Well, if, if I'm used to getting up at six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, whatever your morning routine looks like, and you wanna connect with Jose Escobar about what your morning and evening routine could look like or should look like to make yourself more effective. But whatever that includes, if I'm getting up at five o'clock or six o'clock, I need to get up. If that means I got to get up an hour earlier to have the time or half an hour earlier, whatever time I'm giving to myself, I need to do that. I need to make sure that I do that. I have to gift myself the space and the time to look after me so that we can show up the way we want to and expect ourselves to for the people that we love and care about and the people that, that are important to us, right? To our clients, to the people that, that are in our life that we want to be able to show up for. And so, what, and it, like I say, if that means you have to go to bed a half an hour earlier, an hour earlier at night, then you need to do it, right? We need to get to a point where we're looking after ourselves, right? It, we need to gift that, right? We need to have that. And, and whatever that looks like for you, and you can put whatever ac uh, activities into that space uh, as self-care. It may be a nap in the afternoon. It may be it may be if you can if you can fit that into the schedule, right? It may be um, eating healthier. It may be, maybe it's a shake instead of a meal, whatever it is. Maybe it's a walk every day with, with your significant other or, or your wife or your husband, right? Looking out for those for the other people. So you're you have to be able to look after you to look after them. And so that again, the, the two by four in the rhino piece, that the, that's the way I've lived most of my life pushing hard, 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 and not paying attention to what that will do, right? The rhino's skin is thick so that he can absorb whatever and the, and the hits and whatnot, right? Um, Rocky Balboa, and I know some of my CLA, my CLA uh, brothers, Raul in particular, and Austin talk about Rocky a lot, right? And, and it's not about the hits you take, it's about how you take the hits and can keep on going, right? 
It's not about how many times I get knocked down. It's about getting up one more time than I got knocked down. Because as long as I do that, I'm successful, right? Uh, you look at what the what's a, a Hall of Fame batting average is, is what? If I have a 333 batting average, a 333% batting average for my sports people, um, I'm probably Hall of Fame. That means a little, a little about seven times out of 10, I struck out, right? It's only fail if I stop trying. If I literally stop trying, that's the only way to truly fail. As long as I stay in the game and continue to try, continue to try, continue to try, keep putting it out there, keep showing up, right? Dory used to say, Dory in, in, in that movie said, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, right? Just, just keep going, just keep showing up. As long as you keep showing up, you'll get there, right? Have some grace for yourself that we freely give to other people. Give that grace to ourself, right? We, we need to be able to do that. Um, in terms of benefits and drawbacks to, to, to living a, 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 a rhino type thought process, right? A mindset that says, hey, I'm just going to go and go and go and go. There are some benefits to that. You can go a long way just putting your head down and just gutting it out, right? The challenge with that is, and the, the flip of that coin is that when we do that, we're hurting ourselves right? We're, we're not able to do that on a consistent, consistent, consistent basis for a long period of time. We might do it for, for a few days. We might do it for a few hours, right? But when we don't stop and give ourselves the space, right? We need to stop and give ourselves the space. Give yourself the grace. We, we say stuff to ourselves all the time. We would never say to anybody else, right? We're so hard on ourselves. I do an exercise. I challenge you to do this. Take a mirror uh, and and look into the mirror just for two minutes. Don't break don't break eye contact with the mirror for two minutes. You don't have to hold your eye eye contact necessarily. And it's not a it's not a a blinking competition, right? Who can who can hold their eyes open the longest? But but look with that with that mirror and look how that how that looks. Look, don't look away from our face from your face. Just keep looking, just two minutes, set a timer, just try and do it for two minutes. Most people are in tears before they get to 30 seconds. And it's not because we want to, it's because we're not used to looking at us. We'll see all the faults, right? Look at all the lines, look at all the freckles. Look, my nose is too big. My ears are too small. My eyes are off centered or different shape. we get so critically hard on ourselves. Give yourself grace, give yourself grace. Take some deep breaths. Do, do some uh, breathing exercises. Take some space to be able to know, you know what, uh, I'm okay. And, and if I'm not okay, that's okay too, right? Reach out to somebody. I, I, I did a thing, one of the, one of the tools that I, I'll give you in terms of being able to cope with emotions and whatnot that's going on in ourself is to reach out to people. Right, I would I would drop right to the bottom of my messenger um, um, open conversations list people I haven't talked to in in forever, and I'll send them a message that says you know what a text message that says you know what I don't know where you are today and I don't know what's going on in your life at the moment but I was just thinking about you so I'm saying a quick prayer I'm sending you some light and love and and a bunch of big hugs you know I love you make it a great day make it another great day and I send that off to them and then I. Lots of times I'll copy paste that message to 50, 60. I just keep sending it out and sending it out and sending it out and sending it out. By doing that, I'm raising my own vibration, right? I'm lifting myself. And a lot of times, 40 or 50% of those people will come back to me and go, hey, Gord, I haven't talked to you in forever. Hope you're doing well. But that raises my vibration again. That helps me get out of that space. And so being able to, again, it's, it's self-care. It's, it's look, doing whatever you need to do. If you need to sit in your car or turn on, put on your headphones and turn up the music as loud as you can and, and just what real energy music or something that, that slows you down and, and connects to your soul, try to do that. If that's what it, go for a walk, you know, ha, have a cookie, right? Have, have a, uh, we like, uh, mega from from costco they're they're ice cream sandwiches they're absolutely amazing you have that as a break take a kit kat or that's their thing right give yourself a break 
So, so have, have whatever it takes for you to get your, your space back, right? To get your Zen and you hold on to that and, and don't let it go, right? So that, that's the, the skinny on rhinos. So we've talked about two by fours. We've talked about, about rhinos in terms of mindset and where that goes. And on the other side of the break, we're going to talk about my mission and how that works and what that, what's going on with that. So you know what? You are listening to Gord, uh, sorry, to the long bearded guy that with, that's with Gordon D. Melville. That's me on the Inspired Choices Network. When we return, we'll talk some more about, or we'll talk, actually, I will share with you what my mission is and, and how that's wa- working. So the topic today is a two by four rhinos and my mission. We'll be right back. How much of our daily success relies on our mindset? Anything we are unaware of can still impact our lives. When dealing with our daily emotions that we all face, there can be positive outcomes we control. Why is the word stigma such a BS misnomer? Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Join the long-bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville. The Chief Catalyst Strategist Guide at Jewel International invites you to an enlightening, sometimes shocking discussion. He will be challenging you to explore your own answers to these questions and so many more. This will lead you towards living an abundant, successful life no matter how you define it. Gordon D. Melville is live Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. This is the Long Bearded Guy with Gordon D. Melville. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to the Long Bearded Guy at gmail.com. Now back to the program. Hey everybody, thank you so much. Welcome back to the long bearded guy with Gordon D. Melville. That's me and on, on the Inspired Choices Network. And you know what? We're having a good time. I'm having fun. I hope you're having fun. I hope you're engaged in, in what's going on. I hope it's helpful. And I hope it's encouraging and gives you hope. That, that's, the, that's the idea of this. So I want to just touch real quick on, on, on me or if you want to get a hold of me or get in touch with me. I do. I have a high performance coaching practice. Um, I'm a multi award winning author, uh, international best selling author, and and public keynote speaker. So I, I'm I'm doing I have uh, will have classes coming up for group coach. So that's a uh, a good way to to get into the the mindset piece. We talk lots about mindset and energy and and mental awareness and things like that, um, and some more tools to be able to deal with some of those things. I do one on one coaching. And I do keynote speaking. So if any of those things are, are of interest to you or you want some more information or you want to just connect with me on a, on a more personal level, by all means, give me a shout. I can be reached at the long bearded guy, oddly enough, at gmail.com. Or, or you can go to the long bearded guy.com. Um, and, and that's the website. And it's under construction. So again, give that some grace because I'm, I'm building that and getting that going. And I, it's a, that's a new forum for me. So I'm looking forward to that. And it's, it's doing amazing things uh, and, and growing, exponentially growing. So uh, thank you for growing me even um, as I expand, intentionally expand and intentionally grow. And so I want to just touch real quick to uh, check out the Connected Leaders Academy with Jose Escobar. Um, that, that membership can take uh, your business to the next level. This is a perfect tribe to learn, grow, and connect like never before. It's incredible. It's been an unbelievable blessing to me. The CLA tribe or the Connected Leaders Academy tribe brings together some of the highest level entrepreneurs from all over the world. Set up a virtual coffee with Jose Escobar today. 
I can tell you where well, I've always believed that if I go into a room or I go into a, into a mastermind and I'm the most accomplished, successful person there, I'm probably in the wrong room to grow. And I walked into this room uh, with, with uh, walked into it's digital, right? Uh, but I walked into that space and based on the people that were there, I want to go back to Jose and go, Hey, I don't, I'm not sure I'm qualified to be in this group by, by the virtue of who is in that room such a high, high level for literally from 11 countries around the world, all over the world. I've talked to South Africa and we've talked to Bulgaria and we've talked to all over the U S and Canada. Um, and it's just such an amazing, amazing, amazing group. And it's getting bigger and bigger all the time. And I also want to touch on Kat again, uh, my friend, Kat, uh, the owner and founder of compassionate healing service. Um, you can reach out to her at Kathleen at C as in Charlie H as in Henry S as in Sam yoga.com is where you can reach her and you can reach uh um jose at uh www.theentrepreneursbookshelf.com is the best way to reach them so um please reach out to them and and thank you to them so much uh the their shows um uh, and the broadcasts are brought to you by some of the supporting cast and some of the people that are helping be part of my founding sponsor partners and, and so they're part of that. And I, I want to thank them so much for, for helping get this off the ground and, and getting this out to the message out to you. So thank you so much to both of them. And, all right. So my mission and, and how that, how uh, a two by four and a, and rhinos come into my mission is that it's been such a, um, a blessing and a growth piece to be able to learn, to be able to pay attention when stuff happens. And so one of the pieces and the place where my, my definite major purpose to use uh, Napoleon Hill um, verbiage is it came from being on the bathroom floor um, with Papa and, and, um, and on, on that day, it started that, that process started for me. And what Papa has asked, is that I have, I, what my mission is, is to have a meaningful connection with more than 10 million men globally through networks and organizations with a message of hope that says there are ways, positive ways to deal with stress and anxiety and depression and all the emotions that we all feel naturally every day. There's positive ways to deal with that so that, uh, that we don't end up with vices and other problems, right? in the next 24 months. So 10 million men, so you'll see it 10 MIL mil men in 24. So 10 mil men in 24, that's the goal. And that's the mission. And that's where I'm headed. And, and, and it's uh, my, my heartbeat is for entrepreneurial men. That's what my avatar is. I'll talk to anybody, men in general, women, everybody. Again, the presentation doesn't matter for me. So I'll work with anybody. But I hear people say, when I, when I put that out there, I want to have meaningful connection with 10 million men. I get a lot of people will look at me and go, Gord, that's a lot of guys, you know, 10 million. That's a lot of men. And I'm not saying it's not. But what I hear in the back of my mind, I hear Papa saying to me, Gord, there's 8 billion people on the planet. Half of them conceivably are men. And so that means 4 billion men, 10 million is a drop in the bucket. That's not the target. That's the jump off point. That's the jump point. So but being able to connect to some incredible, incredible networks of people, the, the Connected Leaders Academy and, and Austin Haynes uh, community and Jim Hathering, all these people that, uh, Dr. Oliver, all these people that, that, that have massive organizations and massive reach. And uh, there, there's uh, no such thing as small reach. Everybody has a lot of reach. And I, I want to tell just a really quick story in terms of that reach, in terms of that mission, right, is, is being able to in, impact people in a positive way. Control is an illusion. If you have children or pets, you realize very quickly Control is not real. Uh, the only thing I can control is what I think and what I do. That's all I can control. Okay. And, and if you think otherwise, you're just baffed because it's not, it's not real. And we, we try to, and we want to, but that that's a recipe for frustration our whole life to try and control. I can affect change around me by the things that I do and the things that I think, 
but I can't actually act, change anybody. So I, I want to put it out there. Be careful how you're impacting people because you won't know, you may not know positive or negative impact on people around you. Okay. Quick story from Reader's Digest from years ago. Young man uh, was, he worked, he lived in New York, was a, didn't have any family and friends and what really a loner type guy. And he walked 10 blocks to work and back every day. And he got to a point where he's like, you know what, this is silly. I, I, what, what am I doing here? I, I, I'm not making any kind of impact on people. I'm, I have no friends. I have no family. I, I, I could disappear. And nobody would even know. And so he made a pact with himself the one morning. And he said, you know what, I'm going to walk the 10 blocks to work and home. And if nobody smiles at me, I'm going to end myself when I come home. And he walked to work. Nobody smiled at him. On his way home, one gentleman smiled at him. Now, in the grand scope of everything, one smile doesn't amount to too much. But on that day, it's, and I shouldn't say it doesn't amount to much. It's, it's in the grand scope, it just sort of happens and we don't think about it, it just sort of happens, right? But on that day for that guy, that smile saved his life. And the gentleman that smiled will never, ever, ever know he saved that man's life. And so I challenge you, the ripples that we create every day by the interactions we have with people are so important. You have no idea the impact, positive impact you're making on people around. I get goosebumps the positive impact or negative impact sometimes, and we don't even realize that it's happening, right? Again, mental awareness, being aware of what's going on, being aware of the energy we're putting out, right? If we put out a negative energy, and it's not what our mouth will say, it's what our brain is thinking, right? My mouth can say positive, nice things, but if my brain is thinking negative, uh, that's the energy and the power I'm putting out. And guess what's gonna happen? I, I'm going to get that energy, that negative energy is going to come back to me because that's what I'm putting out. I have to be able to go, you know what? I'm pushing it out. I'm putting out positive. I'm impacting people in a positive. What kind of ripples are being created in a positive way because of the rocks we're dropping into the pond, right? By the interactions we're having with people, we're having positive impact on those around us. And I would challenge you, are you having a positive, mostly positive or negative or a little bit positive, a little bit negative, a lot negative, a little bit positive? What kind of an impact are you having on the people around you? I, I challenge you and put it out there as an, as an action thing. You know what? As an action idea, watch and pay attention. Be aware of the energy you're putting out because that energy is also affecting you, right? We, we wonder why we have struggles you know, getting off the couch and going for exercise or spending any amount of time. We'll talk about topics in, on, on this show. I can't wait to talk about things like um, our, our energy, our, our mental awareness, our, our, uh, our mindset, the things around us. I, I, I rate for myself, what's our worth and value? Where does that come from? Where's that based out of? Um, where do I get that from, right? Because that, those types of things are going to affect how we live. They're going to affect the choices we make. And so we want, to, we want abundant life. We want, we want to thrive. We don't want, just want to survive, right? We want to be in spaces where, where, where we're moving ahead with intention, not just organically letting it happen, right? We want to grow. I, I found it interesting. Less than 3% of the population does any kind of personal development. What? No personal, like, they're not reading. Uh, I, I have another statistic that goes with that is that uh, more than 90% of college grads uh, never pick up a book again the rest of their life. And we wonder why we struggle. The, the, I, I challenge you, pick up a book, read, write, read something, read business stuff. I got, I took some of the books away because, you know, uh, the, <laughs> it was way busy behind myself. Pick up, uh, you know, The Law of Success by Napoleon Hill. Pick up, uh, think and grow rich, pick up um, compound effect. Uh, my, my entrepreneur friends, uh, entrepreneur roller coaster by Darren Hardy, pick up, uh, you know, the, the richest man in Babylon. There's so many books. If you, if you want to know some more uh, titles that might be helpful, reach out to me. I'll give you, I've got 
I've read more than 2000 business books that are educational and can, and can be uplifting and, and feed your soul. Um, reach out and ask. Uh, happy, happy, happy to give you that information. And, and I, I, again, I, I want to thank you so much. Uh, and, and I would join, uh, invite you to join me on my mission. If, if you've got connections to, to people and you want to be part of what's going on and, and can help in any way whatsoever, and it doesn't have to be financial, it could be prayer, it could be exposing me to, to, um, to your uh, sphere of influence, uh, your, your people, you want me to come in and do a, uh, a talk with, with your people, with your group, with your whatever it is, your class, your, your, your whatever your group is, I'll come and talk to anybody. Because we want to get that out. I want to get that out, but passionate to get that out. And I hope you're feeling my heart. And I hope you're you're feeling where where my heart is because I, I want I want that to come out. I want people to know, you know what? No judgment, no expectation, no, no nothing of the things that we we typically put out, right? I lead with love. And and Papa had two main rules, right? Two two big commandments love him and then love each other the way we love ourselves. And so, you know, if I can lead with love uh, and not with judgment, I think the world changes, I think. And, and I can't change the whole world yet. I can only change me. And then uh, by changing me, that ripples into the effect that, that changes the people around me and that changes my town and that changes my city and my province and my, my country and in the world. And, and, but we do that as a group, right? We do that as I get goosebumps again. We get, we, we get that, uh, we make that change. Grassroots level will change the whole world, right? So um, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me in this space today. And, and uh, as we go into this, this last break, um, you're listening to, to the long bearded guy. That's me, myself, Gordon D. Melville on the Inspired Choices Network. When we return, we'll wrap up. And, and talk and find the, the last wrap up for a two by four rhinos and my mission. Thank you so much. We'll see you on the other side. Be right back. How much of our daily success relies on our mindset? Anything we are unaware of can still impact our lives. When dealing with our daily emotions that we all face, there can be positive outcomes we control. Why is the word stigma such a BS misnomer? Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Join the long-bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville. The Chief Catalyst Strategist Guide at Jewel International invites you to an enlightening, sometimes shocking discussion. He will be challenging you to explore your own answers to these questions and so many more. This will lead you towards living an abundant, successful life, no matter how you define it. Gordon D. Melville is live Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. This is The Long Bearded Guy with Gordon D. Melville. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. You can also send an email to TheLongBeardedGuy at gmail.com. Now back to the program. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for, for staying with me. Thank you for being here today. I really appreciate it. You're listening to The Long Bearded Guy with Gordon D. Melville on Inspired Choices Network. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for, for joining us today. Thank you for being part of part of the, the audience today, listening to me, whether you're catching this live or you're catching it on a replay, you're catching it on, on your favorite podcast. Uh, platforms or your radio platforms or your TV platforms, wherever you're watching. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. And like I said uh, prior, I, I want to thank my my uh, founding sponsor sponsor partners, Jose, Jeff, Austin, Jim, Dr. Oliver, Lee, Ed, Kat, Mrs. Kirk, uh, Kirkpatrick, sorry, Carolyn, a huge gratitude to uh, the production crew, um, uh, Christine, Mishka, um, pr producer Kim, and again, my, my wife and my, my studio pit crew of my wife and my son. Um, I, I thank you to everybody. Um, and, and you know what? Um, it's, it's, there's, an, there's an app. If you, to, to catch this every week, we're going to be on every Friday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time or Eastern Daylight Time, I guess. Right at the moment, we have Daylight Savings, which is another whole conversation. But uh, 
that that's just uh but yeah there's an app it's a free app download wherever you listen to podcasts and whatever for the inspired choices network and if you if you download it um all of all of my stuff will be there the the other hosts information is there and their shows are there you could there's a bunch of hosts uh with with other shows too so um you know what uh tap into that you'll never ever ever miss um any of my stuff happening it'll it'll alert you hey this is what's going on so join uh pick that up if if that's of interest to you would love to have you uh understand what's going on and if if you're looking to get your message out by all means reach out to christine uh at uh she's an incredible human being first time i met her I, i don't know how long ago now it's been years uh a few years um she was in bangkok and I'm like, what are you doing there? She's like, oh, I'm adding some more platforms and whatever, expanding the reach. I'm like, you know, what? So she is all in and incredibly good at what she does. Incredibly good at what she does. Um, and, and I said to her, you know what? I'm not the technical guy. So this is all new to me in terms of, you know, uh, being able to, to understand how broadcast works. This is all a learning thing and stretching me and expanding who I am. So um, I'm grateful to her for that opportunity and, and the help, right? I, I do my thing. I'll do my superpower and stay in my lane. And, and she does an incredible job, not just as the, she's also a host uh, of another radio show on here, uh, another, another broadcast on here, but she also is the owner and founder of, of Inspired Choices Network. And that, that, um, even the title of that has really resonated with me, right? Inspired brings the pop part in for me. And that's, in, that's important uh, for me. That's important. And then choices, inspired choices. We, we all are wherever we are in our life, right at the moment, because of the choices and decisions we've made over our whole life. Okay. Extreme ownership says, you know what? I have to own my shit. I have to, own. it's not on anybody else, right? It's not because my parents screwed me up. It's not because um, it's not because uh, my uh, uh, a partner that that abused me or treated me poorly or, or a boss that holds none of that, that that we have to own that we put ourselves in that job we chose to be in that job we chose to be in that relationship we chose to be in that space if, if Jim Rohn used to say if you don't like where you are you're not a tree move right move choose to change intentionally change right in choose where you want it to be the best way to to predict what the future is going to be is to design it and create it yourself and then execute the biggest difference between i tell my sons all the time the biggest difference between successful and not successful lots of the time is the ability and the audacity of doing i call it the audacity of doing everybody can have a plan but most people don't execute the plan right? They say a graveyard is the most expensive real estate there is because of all the ideas and thoughts and and creative stuff that went to the grave with that person because they didn't be able to get through their own fear to be able to step into that, right? To step into that empowerment, to step into that that peace, to step into that um, empowerment, to, 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 to have the guts and the intestinal fortitude uh, to be able to do it, actually execute. I challenge you, execute. You've got some great. I used to ask at, at Armo Monday saying, I would put up my hand and go, hey, how many of you have a story? And, and lots of, almost no hands went up. And I'm like, that's bullshit. You all have a story. Share your story. Whether you, you, you all have a story, whether we want to share it in a, in a format like this or from stage or in a book, or that's a different, that's a different uh, conversation, Okay. But, but share your story. People need to hear your story. They need to hear your message. And people go, oh, I don't want to share all my, it's just nobody wants to listen to my sad BS. Well, it's not. The fact that you got through means if you share it, you'll give hope to people that are going through that now. Life's not happening to us. It's happening for us to be able to equip us specifically and uniquely to help other people get through what we just went through. Fear is BS. It's a construct we build for ourselves. It's not. It, it it's not real. Danger is real. Fear is not real. I challenge you. Step through it. Thank you so so much for spending your time with the long bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville on Inspired Choices Network. Thank you Thank for you tuning so into the Long Bearded Guy Show. You are appreciated and loved. 
Gordon D. Melville returns Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on the InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until then, make it another great week, leading with love, powerfully designing, crafting, and living out your positively impactful legacy life you were created for. Big hugs.